My mother swore to her dying days that my first words were mama, dada, resistor, capacitor. <laughs> I don't know if they had geeks back then, but I was probably one of them. There is a resurgence. The 20 and 30-somethings have discovered analog audio and they like it. There is no question that cassettes are making a comeback. We are in the last cassette factory in the United States. This company duplicates audio cassettes and loads blank audio cassettes. We're like a printing press. They send us the audio, graphics that they want, they specify if they want it in a box, and we put it all together. National Audio Company has been around since about 1968, 69. When we first got into duplicating, it was mostly small runs, the occasional band, some special order things. And then about four or five years ago, there was a sudden change. Every garage band you can imagine showed up at our doorstep wanting cassettes. 2015 was probably our biggest year, and this year is without question on target for exceeding it. Analog brings a sense of warmth that is not present in digital. The download is so temporary and so passing, you know, it's there and it's okay, you listen to it and you enjoy it. And, but you have nothing to go back and look at. The fact of holding it in your hand seems to be one of the drawing cards for the cassette, and then for the older people would be the nostalgia thing. I think the cassettes have made a permanent return. Shouldn't have gone away in the first place, but they did, and now they're back. My biggest concern is to pass this on to somebody else. Yes, there's other people that know how to do this. Most of them are my age. So I need to teach and train younger people. I want to see national audio continue for as long as there are tapes to be made. <laughs>